think this was a great watch for a whole matter of reasons. First of all, I really enjoyed that this season felt so different to its predecessors, something that I did have worries about when I did my review for the previous season. But no, I really enjoyed that it's not really about love and that it doesn't really have Joe looking for love and getting obsessed like it's three previous seasons. It's more of a murder mystery and that the particular you is obsessed over Joe instead of the usual. And I really enjoyed that in this particular first half, Joe is not looking for love. In fact, he's rejecting it any time it pops into his mind. He does his best up until the later half. When it comes to the mood of this show, I will have to say it feels darker than before. And not just story-wise, but even visually, it's very intriguing. It definitely captures the dark and miserable atmosphere and setting as it is set in London. It really captures it to me. I was really hooked on the multiple twists and turns that this show throws towards you as we try to find out who is the obsessive you that's going after Joe and the potential victims that he, that being Joe, is surrounding himself with. I found that very hooking. But I think that was probably the best part of the show. We're also seeing Joe somewhat change as he really is rejecting his obsessions over particular people. He's trying his best not to fall into the love crowd and he, even his killer impulse is something he is desperately trying to reject and there's a particular character who he gets into a fight with and he could easily have murdered and I feel like from an audience point of view it would have been justified just because of the way he was treating Joe but instead he actually rejects that and helps this particular person so we're seeing him definitely evolve in the, in the slightest way. Another thing about this show that I did enjoy is we're seeing a new type of wealth as obviously Joe has hung around the wealthy. Uh, Guinevere Beck, while she wasn't wealthy, Peach would definitely, so we see him being around that particular wealth area. We see the Quinn family and their get-togethers and that was quite wealthy and season three quite a suburban household and those parties but this one feels very different and in a very intriguing way now when it came to the secondary characters i will say it found it very interesting we're seeing that because obviously quite a lot of them are wealthy we're seeing that they're quite depraved people both in the sexual acts but also drugs and they feel because they have the money they're somewhat better than everyone else when in reality they're just the same as the poorer people who would indulge in these acts as well. The only difference is the poorer addicts have no illusions of who they are, whilst the wealthy obviously do. Now when it came to critiques, I do have a few. First being that the secondary characters, I will have to be honest, very unlikable. Now, I'd say later on in this first half, a few, but I think three at best, somewhat likable, and you don't mind seeing them on the screen as much, but the majority are very rich stereotyped characters and so when you, we see them, especially the potential victims, when we actually see their demise, we have no real feelings of, of a, like, oh, isn't that a shit? We don't really feel that. I don't think we care. And from my point of view, I was more agreeing with the Eat the Rich Killer, which I think is a real shame. As whilst I understand what the writers are doing, as it's from Joe's point of view as well, but imagine if they wrote one of the rich people as somewhat likeable and that would in itself be a very hard challenge that I wish they would at least attempt. My other critique is when it came to the particular you who was obsessed over Joe. Now, this is going to come off quite arrogant, but I somewhat spotted it in the very first episode towards the end. And whilst I really enjoyed how they kept up this narrative, this particular character was always in the back of my mind. And then in the last two episodes, they really tried to divert that and f somewhat frame a particular character. And it, would, in a way, it would make sense. But once it was revealed, I completely knew. And the particular character they were trying to frame, it felt a bit too obvious. It's something that Joe himself would have done. But I'm... That's very small, if I'm being honest. So yeah, when it comes to this season, I will be completely honest, I was very hooked. I binged four episodes within one day, which is not usually like me. I like to savour a particular season, especially with one like this. And it was like a drug. I just wanted more and more up until 
I finished it, now I've got to wait a month. But yeah, overall, I thought it was very interesting. I enjoyed the dark setting, the change of story to an extent, the pace. I, I really enjoyed it. I can't wait for part two. Is it good? I'd say it's very good slash great. Now, at the moment, I'm rating it an 8.5 out of 10. But with the part two coming, I believe that could it increase or decrease. All right, that has been my review. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.